Let me see how well you guys know your triangle names. First one we've done, what kind of triangle is that? This is the first, the set, page two, guys. Oh, uh, lesson three. On to triangle one. All right, what about the second one? I'm not going to tell you that any of the sides or angles are equal. You just have to go on based on the shape of that type of triangle. Ben, how do you know it's a cube? What's the rule? You got it. All right, what about triangle three? That's a new one. Kurt. How do you know it's obtuse? What's the rule for obtuse? Be careful there. Bill, do you know what the rule is? Yeah. Say it one more time. which it is, only one angle is greater than 90. It automatically is going to make the other two less than 90. So this one here is slightly bigger than 90, then it becomes a 2. What did you guys remember from fifth grade? The inside angles have to add up to what? 180. So obviously, if one's greater than 90, then the remaining two, which have to add up to 90, at least, okay, are going to be less than 90. So only one is greater than 90. Okay? All right, flip. Next page. I'm going to introduce a new word to you, and the word is called altitude. It's another word for the height of a, of a triangle. Altitude is how high something is. So height and altitude essentially mean the same thing. On this particular triangle, which is an acute triangle, there's two ways that you can show the height. Find the base, and the highest point is the height or altitude. You can draw it this way. Draw that dotted line in. Or if you choose to, if you choose to do it outside of the triangle, you can do it this way too. one is considered the altitude. It's from the base to the peak. Now when I divided this, now I'll fill in this dotted line. What did I create inside of that acute triangle? Then I created two right triangles. One here and one here. Before we go on to the next page, how would you find the area of this acute triangle based on what you've already learned? How would you do it? Assuming that I give you the height or, or, the, or the measurement for that altitude, and I give you measurements in here, what would you have to do in order to find the area of the acute triangle? How many right triangles do I have here? Two. I've got two, right? What would I have to do? So? Do what with them? Right, I could do A, A equals base times height divided by two for the first right triangle. Do the same for the second right triangle. Then what? And it's together. As you'll see, that's going to be a shorter way we can do it. But let's do it the way that I just, or the way Zoe just outlined. So now I give you all the measurements. We've just got to determine what we need, the treasure numbers, and what we don't need, the trash numbers. Let's call this triangle one. Let's 
call it triangle two. Everything starts with the formula. Which one should I use? Divide by two or should I use the one with half? Right. Okay, there's my formula. Take a break. Before we proceed with doing this, can anybody tell me which numbers are my trash numbers? Correct. If you want to put like a line to it for right now, you can. Okay. All right, let's do triangle one first. What's the base of just triangle one? Jack. Right. Not a whole lot of room here to work, but we'll think it will do. All right, what's the height? Follow. Ten is correct. Don't forget to divide by two. I showed you the knockout shortcut, right? Yeah. What's the knockout shortcut? I always forget whether I showed period two or three. I know I didn't show it to both, so it gets to period three. All right, what can I do? Right, usually the even number, right? Yeah. So what would you make your ten? Then all you got to do is 9 times 5 in your head, which is 45. I'm not saying that you can't do 90 divided by 2 in your head, but sometimes it always works out where if you could split one of the numbers in half, it's easier to do the math where you don't have to worry about division. So 45, but I'm not going to put units on it just yet. Because so I'm going to have to do something with that 45 before I can come up with a final answer. All right, let's do, tri let's do triangle 2. Same formula as triangle one. All right, what's the base of triangle two? Twelve. Say it. Twelve. Hi. Still ten, which is great with this, is though they share the same altitude, the same same height. Remember, if you choose to knock out, you can only knock out one number, not both. Either one, it's going to make the math easier if you're in your head. Which one would you knock it out? All right, 10 times 6. Okay, now what? Scroll up. What do you have to do to get the total triangle area? Can we do 60 plus 45? Yeah. 105, and now I will tack on my units. Oh, sorry, yes. Now, you could do it this way, but there's a shortcut. Let's see if the formula works for the entire triangle. What's the altitude or the height of that entire triangle? Still 10. Yeah. Here's where you have to be careful. What's the base of the entire triangle? Oh, Don't pull oh, out. Bob, right. what's the base of that triangle? It's, remember, from here to here is 9, from here to here is 12, the whole is 9 plus 12. We want to see if 10 times 21 divided by 2 will get us that same 105. A equals base times site divided by 2. What's the base again, everybody? 21. 21. What was the height? What was 
inside. Ten. Ten. What number can we knock out? Two and ten. Twenty-one times five, which may or may not be less than ten. Guess what it is. Point oh five. It works. Now, so we now know that the, that shortcut will work for acute triangles. Do you think it'll work for obtuse triangles? Yes. Let's test it. Because if it does, then as long as you can figure out what the base of that entire triangle is, you can sometimes be a little tricky, as I'm saying. And as long as you have the height, we don't need to worry about doing two separate triangles and having to add together. All right, let's try the obtuse next page. How long will it take for a lesson to the garbage can each class? <laughs> the whole thing is odds on that, too. Anyway, the over-under. Over it's like 15 minutes, I think. It's, it's the over-under. A, a lot of people, well, I was over today. A lot of people go under. Okay. Here's my obtuse triangle here at the bottom. I, I don't want to have to scroll back and forth, so we just got to kind of keep it all on one page here. All right. The hardest part is knowing which numbers I need and which ones I don't, because there is a lot of throwaway numbers here. What's the base? Be careful, because this is a, this is it's an important question. I got all these numbers, and let me help you. Look at my obtuse triangle, guys. Is my bold face lines? Okay. All right. That being said, what's my base? Marcus. 30. Let me say 30. Let me say something different. Let me say that. Let me say 24. See, that's the hardest part is knowing what the base is. The base is 24. Because this is not part of my, these dotted lines are not part of my triangle. I need these dotted lines because I'm going to need the altitude. So I extend this. And I bring this up. I do that, but I don't need my six. My base is 24. If I had, if I told you that this is my triangle right here, just trying to redo it. All you would need is this bottom. 24 is the base. What's the height or altitude? Remember what what that means. It's base to the topmost point. Eight is my height. Everything else is trash. We don't need 42. We don't need 10. We don't need 6. Separate the treasures from the trash. Plug it in. So, what was the base again? Which number do you want to get rid of? Here's where it really does make a difference by cutting down one of the numbers from the get go. It's 24 times 8 divided by 2. It's going to take longer. Which one? You can't do both. Only do one if you do knockout. Get rid of 24. I always say get rid of a bigger number unless cutting out a smaller number makes a makes a base of ten or something with zeros. Twelve times eight, you get and we're in inches squared. You wanna try the rest of your own? Tell you what, just do number one. What we can do is I think I have to find the filth on the next page. So just do number one, but don't go ahead. I want to make sure you know how to do it. Wait, just do number one. And you're doing number one as 
one formula, one set of substitutions, and one answer. Don't break it down anymore. We don't need to. All right, do number one. All right, here comes number two. Somebody said it best. Number two is kind of loopy. Good so far? Yes, yes. All right, good. We're up and running. Any issues? Find the filth of any. Fill in what you said. 41. How are you getting 41? 41? You said it was first. 32 plus 9 is 41, isn't it? Yeah. This is not 36. As Dylan said, the base is 41. Because this is your base. You've got to kind of look at where that right angle is being created. Now, what you get is an answer, Del. What'd you get? And you found the fill, so you get to paint your top drawer. The hardest part is finding the base and the height, finding the numbers you need. Uh, that's okay. It's all right. It's an option to make it easier. Right, you get no mistake. You get a no, a no mistakes. Uh, okay. Okay. They're like little puzzles. You have to be able to identify the base and the height. If you're able to do it. The math, I think, will be fine. Yeah, sure. Yeah, John, go. Uh -huh. All right, try number three. All right, you're ready to see number five, right? So far, so good with the point, huh? Okay. All right, let me tell you guys what your homework is. 